everyone, this is Heidi and you're watching Heidi K Makeup. Um, my hands are really, really messy. I was in the middle of filming this and my dog spilled over a nail polish which spilled all over the floor and I, I'm out of nail polish remover. So um, it's all over my hands because I had to try and clean that up real quick while it was still wet. But I figured I would film this video now that that's dry before I go out and buy more nail polish remover. Um, the video that I'm talking about today is going to be my what I'm packing in my travel makeup case. Um, this is not oh what I'm taking on vacation to the beach or whatever. This is like I know I'm going to want to get really really glammed up like maybe you're going to Vegas or something like that and um, and I don't know what exactly it is that I'm going to want to do with my face. So um, I normally do not bring this whole big giant case with me everywhere I go when I go and, you know, on vacation or whatever, but I'm going on a road trip and I can. I'm not saying you need to bring this much with you, but I am saying this is how much I'm bringing in order to do a full face, um, a full face of makeup when I don't know what I'm going to do. So I have this case. I got this at Target for my birthday last year. With, um, I tried to cut corners and get the caboodle one. And um, as you can see, this, this part of it is broken. So normally these come right out, and this still does, but this one sits nicely and this one kind of falls around. And then it kind of folds all over the place because it's broken. Um, but what's nice about it is that it's got a lot of space. So I can pack my makeup up very, very easily into it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my face. The first thing that I'm going to pack is a primer. I'm just going to pack this little Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm almost completely out of this. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. This is the little size. I'm also going to bring a foundation, the foundation that I've been using for quite a, no a few number of months now. In fact, I've ran out and repurchased it is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin. This is really nice for the winter time, which it is right now, um, because it's it's kind of a dewy finish and my skin has gotten really dry lately. So Neutrogena Healthy Skin, got that. Uh, for concealer, I'm actually going to go with my Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer. This is my favorite concealer. Um, and what's nice about it is that I can use it for both my under eye and blemishes. And then I'm going to use a powder. The powder that I'm going to go ahead and pack is my e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder. Um, as far as face products, that's pretty much it, except I'm going to want to bring a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. Um, you can bring a couple of different brush or blushes if you'd like, or you could just bring one kind of universal blush. I got this palette last year, and unfortunately it was limited edition. They no longer have this. Um, but I have it, and so this is what I'm packing, so I'm keeping it real. Um, it's the NARS Dan Mari palette, and inside of it, it's got this giant mirror, so I'm going to try to hold over that. It's got these uh, four blush colors. It's got this really bright pink, this kind of mauve rosy sort of blush. This, um, this right here is Orgasm, which is that kind of peachy pink. Then Super Orgasm, which is a slightly less pigmented version of orgasm, but it's got these flecks of glitter in it. And then I've got a bronzer here, which is Casino, and a highlighter, which is um, from the Hungry Heart Duo. So I can pack this, and then don't have to worry about packing each of those things individually. So that's, oh, and I, I also want to bring my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. That's kind of it for the face. Then as far as, um, eyes are concerned. I'm going to want to bring an eye primer. This is my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin. You can see it's all completely worn off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pack this one just because it's got, um, it's like the sample size so it's nice and easy to pack away. Um, then I'm also going to go ahead and pack um, some of my eyeliners. I'm packing a brown and a black pencil liner. This one is by Lorac, and this one is a little sample one by Lancome. I like to pack these just because they're sample size. You don't have to use the Lorac one or the Lancome one. In fact, the Lancome one is not my favorite eyeliner, but it's small. And so I'm going to go ahead and put 
these two eyeliners in there. If you like to um, change up your, your eyeliner a lot, you can pack more than this. I hardly ever use anything other than black. Occasionally I'll use brown. Um, so these are the only two that I'm going to pack, but you could pack more. That's also another way to um, pack easily if you don't want to bring a ton of eyeshadows and bring a bunch of different eyeline eyeliners and change the look. But I don't really mess with my eyeliner that much. I'm also going to bring a gel eyeliner and a liquid liner. This is my all-time favorite liquid liner of all time. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. And I'm just bringing the shade black because that's pretty much what I use is black. And then I'm bringing a gel liner. This one is by MAC and it's um, Blitz and Glitz. It's a black liner. It's pretty much just like black track except it's got a little bit of glitter in there. Man, my hands look really bad. Uh, it's got a little bit of glitter in there, but it doesn't show up on, on your eye. It's just what I bought because they were out of black track when I went to go buy it. Then I'm going to bring mascara. I'm choosing to bring my Clinique High Impact Mascara because, again, this is the little sample size, so it travels easily. Um, and my eyelash curler. This is by e.l.f. For my brows, I'm bringing a couple different things. I'm going to bring my NYX uh, brow, Eyebrow Cake Powder. And it comes with a little wax, as well as two different colors. Um, and it comes with like a little little brush in there and a little spoolie. Um, this is in the shade Auburn Red. And then I also have, um, this came in my glam bag. This is the Eyebrow Defining Gel, and it's just a clear uh, brow gel. You can use clear mascara too, but I got this in its sample size, so I'm throwing that in there. And then tweezers. I always forget to pack tweezers and I always think, oh, my eyebrows are nice and tweezed before I leave. And then I inevitably end up wanting tweezers on the trip. So I'm packing tweezers this time, as well as a um, pencil sharpener for the eyeliners as well. Then for my lips, if you're more of like kind of a, a softer, lighter toned um, color, like lip color wear, then obviously that's what you want to bring. For me, the colors that I use the most are like a mauve pinky sort of rose shade, um, a kind of neutral, not nude, but neutral, and then kind of a, a red, and then also a berry shade. So first off, I'm going to bring two uh, lip liners. This is for red, and this is MAC Brick. I'm actually wearing it um, under MAC Lady Danger right now. Mauve lip liner, and this is by Maybelline. It's called Plum. It's number 45. Which is another reason why I need my pencil sharpener. And as far as lipsticks go, I want to have um, kind of that different variety. So I've been really into the red lips lately. Right that I packed, I'm packing a Revlon Crimson, which I think is my all time favorite kind of universal red. So I'm going to pack that. And it's nice because it doesn't dry out the lips. A lot of red lipsticks dry out the lips, but it's also not shiny, so it doesn't look kind of crazy. Um, I'm also going to bring my Inglot lipstick. This is in the shade 153, and it's kind of a rusty red, and it's got shimmer to it. This is very similar to Kat Von D's Adora. I don't think it's necessary, necessarily necessary to pack two reds, but I'm doing it because red has been my thing that I've been doing lately. Um, and then also for a kind of nude, more neutral lipstick, it's not completely nude, it's still kind of a little deeper tone because I find that two skin toned ones uh, kind of blank out, that blank out your lips, kind of make me feel like a zombie. So I'm using MAC Viva Glam 5, you can see I'm almost out. I've been trying to use this up because I want to back to MAC it, but it's a really nice neutral, um, neutral shade. And it is one of their lusters, which are my favorite finishes by MAC. And for my mauve lipstick, MAC Syrup, which is this pretty uh, mauve, pinky, rose sort of shade. I've done a review on this. It's really, really gorgeous, and it's also a luster finish. Um, then for my berry color, I'm packing actually a lip stain. These are the CoverGirl, I think they're the Outlast lip stains. And this does not have a shade name, but it's number 560, and it's this beautiful berry color. These are great because they stay. You put them on, and they just 
stay. So I don't need a lip liner for this, and I think it'll be nice for a more intense lip look, which I've been into now that it's winter time. I'm also packing with that the little gloss that goes with it, which is just a clear, it's kind of messy because I've used it over it, but it's just kind of a clear uh, thing that you put over the top of it so that it will keep your lips moisturized because those can kind of dry out your lips a little bit. Oh, I forgot to put this in there. I'm going to want to pack a lip balm too. I'll probably pack my Nivea one. I haven't, I didn't bring it in here, but I'm going to pack that as soon as I'm done with this video. Then as far as glosses go, I have three. Um, this is my MAC Luster Glass in uh, Viva Glam 6. And I'm trying to finish this up for Back to MAC. And this is nice because it goes kind of over actually pretty much any lip color and makes it kind of that nice rosy look that I really enjoy. Um, I'm also bringing a NYX Smoky Look, which is kind of the closest thing to a nude lip that I really like to go to. These are really pretty um, and they stay nice and they feel nice on the lips. The only thing I have to complain about them is I don't like the smell. They've got kind of a funky cherry medicine smell, but packing that away. And then um, for if I decide I want to go over the red, um, this is Garnet by NYX. Actually, I find it makes red lips a little bit more wearable to have just a tiny bit of gloss on it. So I'm going to go ahead and pack that. And as far as um, eyes go, I also like to have a little bit of eye primers with me. And so I'm going to, or not primers, but rather bases, I'm going to pack um, a couple different bases. Now this is totally optional. You don't have to do this. If your eyeshadow is pigmented enough, you don't need the base, but I like it because it'll be kind of fun to play with. Um, so I'm packing a couple of the uh, Maybelline Color Tattoos. I'm packing Bold Gold, which is this really pretty gold. It's like a, a yellow toned gold. Um, I'm packing what is this? Toughest Taupe, which is a matte taupe. Mine kind of melted and got really messy, but it's a matte taupe base, which is really nice. Um, and then I'm also packing a bright blue one because I want something that, um, in case I feel like just messing with the eyes and doing more color with the eyes, I can do that. And since I didn't bring like a gel eyeliner or anything like that, this will work. This is uh, Tenacious Teal, and it's this really pretty um, crazy teal color. These are great. They stay put and they do not move. They I'm also bringing a Makeup Forever Aqua Cream and this is uh, shade number 16 which is kind of the shimmering pink which works to me they're dupes of each other. The color tattoos and the aqua creams. The color tattoos aren't quite as easy to blend but I like like them both. So I'm packing those, and then I also want um, just a black base and a white base to kind of deepen any look or brighten any look. So I'm bringing my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and in Black Bean. Then I'm going to bring um, four, actually four eyeshadow palettes. I'm bringing the Naked 2, which honestly could be the entire thing. You could also do the Urban Decay Naked. And then also, in case I want to do some more bright looks, I'm bringing a couple other ones. I'm bringing the Urban Decay Deluxe Palette, which has these crazy colors. Part of the reason why I brought Tenacious Teal is because I thought I could put Peace over that, maybe the waterline or something like that, um, and do some fun looks with this. And then I'm also bringing uh, two Lorac palettes. These are so these were unfortunately uh, limited time offers, but. They're really nice because they are, they're just really small and they travel really easily. So I have the Day Palette right here, which also has a blush in it. It's got this kind of peachy blush and these kind of more warm toned um, shades. They're not necessarily neutral shades. There are some colors in them, but they're kind of more warm toned. And then um, their Night Palette, which is got kind of like a pink, a more pinky blush and some more cool toned and deeper shades, um, which also have some kind of crazy colors, which I think will be, oops, very fun. I could probably get away with just bringing those two palettes and skipping the Urban Decay ones, but I like to be a Girl Scout and be prepared. 
Um, as far as brushes go, I'm bringing just, um, just a, a little stippling brush. I got this at the drugstore. I can't even remember what brand it is for foundation that I probably won't even use because I've been digging using my hands for foundation lately. I'm also bringing an e.l.f. Uh, fan brush that is really nice for highlight. And because the only highlighter that I brought is from that NARS palette, this is the brush I like to use with that. This is not completely necessary. You could do this with just um, the brush I'm about to show you. Then I'm bringing a Sephora Duo brush. On this side is kind of an angled blush brush. You could do the highlight with this. I like that one because it doesn't create quite as pigmented of a highlight because um, this is a little bit thicker. Um, it has the blush side on this side and then the bronzing side on this side. I actually use this for powder. I'm bringing a couple different um, eye brushes. I'm bringing an angled liner brush. This one's by e.l.f. Um, for the gel eyeliner. Um, I'm also bringing a flat shader brush. This one is also by e.l.f. It's the Professionals eyeshadow brush. This one was $1. Then I'm bringing a crease brush. This one is was from a My Glam bag. And it's kind of this fluffy brush, which is nice for um, blending out. Or then um, I'm bringing a pencil brush. This is um, the crease brush from Posh. And it came with two. It has this one and then a smaller one. I'm choosing to bring the bigger one. And this I like for the outer V. And also you can use it for your crease. And then I'm also bringing um, an angled brush for my eyebrows. I know my brow kit comes with a brush in it, but I like this one better. This one's by Sonia Kashuk. Uh, for my brows and a spoolie for my brows. Again, the NYX one came with it, but I prefer this one. It's a little bit bigger. That is everything that I'm bringing on my vacation. Um, when I know that I'm going to be doing kind of some crazy different makeup looks, um, it's not what I would bring if I was just going to the beach or something like that, but it is what I'm going to be bringing for this trip. So I hope you all enjoyed, um, and if there's anything that you can think of that I left out, let me know in the comments box. And I will talk to you all very soon. Thanks for watching.